Hello and welcome guys to the story of two twins, the Subaru BRZ and the Toyota GT86. Will the twins separate in different times or will they be identical in the track and drag test today? If you're going to enjoy the video make sure to leave a like and first an overview of each car. The 2013 Subaru BRZ is a rear wheel drive coupe which has around 200 brake horsepower. It also has a very low centre of gravity, lower than a Ferrari 458. Not being an incredibly quick vehicle, it has a decent acceleration at 6.4 out of 10, but braking is quite poor at 4.3 out of 10. When I said there was teaser twins, I meant it. The Toyota GT86, also from 2013, only differs in terms of in-game stats of a 0.1 increase in acceleration. It's also a rear-wheel drive vehicle which has around 197 brake horsepower and is believed to be an authentic, low-weight, low-cost, compact sports car, according to Autocar. They seem to be awfully similar, so will they differ in a series of track and drag tests? Let's find out, firstly at the Indy version of the Brands Hatch circuit. The cars were first compared over a one minute lap at the shorter Indy version of the Brands Hatch track. The Subaru felt quite slidey over the laps that were completed and it was tough to brake and get down to the right speed to take each corner, but saying that it wasn't a bad car and it was actually decent, but nothing out of the ordinary. The fastest lap with this coupe was 59.237. The Toyota in comparison was still fairly slidey, but was slightly better in terms of braking and overall grip than Subaru. The acceleration out of corners is also quite a lot better in my opinion, and was just generally more comfortable to drive than the Subaru. It managed to 58.404 around here, which just under a minute is an 8 tenth difference. Before we go on to a wet track test, we're going to see how quickly these cars can brake at the Daytona Trio Oval Circuit. This was definitely a tricky test to figure out the results of. This test was at night, at the Daytona International Speedway on the Tri-Oval Circuit. The cars would accelerate until they got to 100 mph, and then the time from 100 mph to stationary and braking was measured. Now, these timings may not be 100% accurate, but maybe 2-3 to three hundredths at the most out. So, the Subaru got up to 100 mph in approximately 18 seconds, and took 5.5 seconds to get down to a stationary level. The Toyota managed the 100 miles an hour feet in 17.98 seconds, 5 tenths quicker than the Subaru, and got to a stationary level in 5.22 seconds, which is a 0.28 difference. However, these could be a few hundredths out, so it could be a 3 tenth difference or a quarter second difference, but still the Toyota is the obvious winner. Next we go to the Sebring Club Circuit in the wet to test the grip of these cars. When rain was thrown into the mix, the Subaru actually wasn't all that bad. The car felt pretty good in the wet and was pretty grippy to the track, apart from going through puddles when it was quite slippy and slidey and nearly span a few times coming out of there. It was decent though and managed to complete a 132.029 here. The Toyota was also quite grippy to the road and was fairly similar to the Subaru offering here, apart from the fact that it wasn't as slidey coming out of the puddles and was slightly better in the way of grip overall. The Toyota won yet another test with a 130.502, 1.5 seconds quicker than the Subaru. Finally, we're going to test whether the Toyota can whitewash the Subaru, or whether the Subaru can actually win the drag test. In the quarter mile drag test over a 15 second distance, the Toyota won yet another test by just under 3 tenths to the Subaru which did a time just under the 16 second mark. You must admit, you wouldn't expect a 3 tenths difference over this distance, with just a tenth difference in acceleration would you? Well considering the results of these tests, nothing to surprise anymore. Toyota 4, Subaru, a big fat zero. But I think it's obvious which car won this battle today. The question is though, like last week, when the KTM was a lot cheaper than the other two cars, do you make a saving on the Subaru? The answer is no. Both cars cost 31,000 credits or 63 tokens to buy, and the fact that they are the same price clearly shows which car you should purchase. If you do want to buy the Subaru BRZ, then that's up to you, but it's very clear what car I will recommend. So the twins clearly differed here today in the four tests, and the Toyota won every single battle. The Subaru in this game is definitely a class apart to its orange companion. So if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, and leave your thoughts on this, and more review ideas in the comments. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.